Hey, wrinkle face. That's what people could say if you're still using a liquid foundation that can settle into your lines and wrinkles and make you look older. CoverGirl and Olay floats above lines and makes you look younger. Can your anti-aging makeup do that? Simply Ageless from Olay, an easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. Welcome to Team Z Live. Harvey Levin here. And Charles. So, uh, to our friends on the uh, East Coast, uh, now you know our pain. Yeah, really. I mean, that's Whoa. Uh, it's pretty scary. Uh, no, it, it is actually it's very scary. Probably scarier there because it just wasn't expected. You don't you don't expect it. When it starts happening here, we kind of know. All right, it's an earthquake, and you, you might get a little scared. But there, you're just completely. And I've been in New York when an earthquake is hit, and it was only half the size of what today's was. Yeah, five nine is is, is it's getting up there. Um, Kate Hutton from the uh, from Caltech is saying that there was an active fault, but it was literally millions of years ago in the Appalachians, and that there, w there was a possibility, and that it does happen from time to time, that there's some rumbling from it. So it's unusual, but not unheard of, and it probably emanated from there. Hmm. Uh, but, yeah, it is, it is a scary situation. Um, and also, obviously, you know, things like the Washington Monument, I mean, nothing's retrofitted for earthquakes there. Right. And when you look at that, you think to yourself, God, if I were at the top of that in the middle of a 5.9, I would be very scared. Eh, it's not that high. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, is, it is a scary <laughs> thing, if you think, because, you know, you can climb all the way to that. Anyway. Yeah. So, um... So, we're, you know, we have a bunch of stuff to talk about. Um, we're going to talk about Kim Kardashian, her sex tape, crazy. It went nuts the day of the wedding. Um, two million hits um, on the website that's selling that tape the day of her wedding. The best part is Kim gets the money off of that. And Kim, well, she denies it, but we know, yeah, the, way, we know the way the game works. Yeah. Um, Taylor Armstrong's doctor did not report uh, the abuse at the hands of Russell. Uh, we broke that story. We may talk about that a little bit. Also, Obama going on vacation. Um, is it right for him to go to Martha's Vineyard? And I think Martha's Vineyard has particular some significance. significance in going to Martha's Vineyard. Bad idea or good idea is what we're going to talk about. For on, on several levels. And Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, they now say that it is um, a lie that they are not separating, divorcing, that they are still intact. Their marriage is intact. An odd way of putting it. But intact. We're, we're going to talk about that. Not a very passionate word. But here's what I want to start with. I want to start with the teacher. Uh, there was a teacher in Florida who um, who has been he reassigned. Has he has been, he yeah. has been reassigned because he wrote in his private Facebook page that he had disdain for um, gay marriage in yeah in New York, that the fact that people could get married in New York. And he basically said that he felt that it was that it was um, a cesspool. He, he, called it, he called it a cesspool. Um, he called it a sin and part of a cesspool. Yeah. Part of a cesspool. Um, he was reassigned. And he had some pretty strong language, but it was in his private Facebook. And the question is, is this free speech is this something that he's allowed to say? Does it in some way interfere with his teaching so that he, you know, should rightly be reassigned? Um, and, you know, before, I have some opinions about this, but before I give mine, Randy Stevens, who is the executive director of the Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender of Central Florida, um, he is on the line right now, um, active in this, knowledgeable about this. Randy, welcome to DMZ Live. Thank you, Harvey. I appreciate it. First off, we need to correct something. You keep saying private Facebook. What's private about Facebook? Well, well meaning it's out that it, there now, once it's out there, it's out there for everybody. Well, but it wasn't affiliated with the school. Yeah, it's his. It's not. It's not an official. Like if I if I go on um, a private Facebook that I have versus the TMZ Facebook, there's a distinction between the two. Well, but there's still, it might as well be publishing it in the local newspaper when you put anything on Facebook now. Well, I mean, I mean I'm not going, I'm, I'm, I'm always very cautious, and everybody should be. Anything they post on there, it's going to be subject to everybody viewing it or, or, or sharing it. Okay, well, you know, okay. let's, let's uh, I'll, I'll accept your premise. So, what's your opinion about this? Do you think it's right to put this guy on administrative leave? 
Let me let me back up a moment. I'm part of, before I became executive director, uh, part of my background was I reached to represent teachers in Alabama with Alabama Education Association. Okay. I was attorney for them. So I used to defend teachers in this type of situation, and my initial reaction was pretty much, uh, I think, about like yours. I was thinking, you know, uh, I think with both our backgrounds of law, we both look at the First Amendment and think, oh, my God, freedom of speech is a violation of that. But it, it has to carry forth, and that was my initial reaction uh, to the first inquiry I had. But we have to realize that teachers uh, have a – they go into the teaching profession by choice. And as that, when they do that, they do have a special – uh, responsibility. And as such, in, in this case right here, this teacher, and he's very popular, he was actually the teacher of the year, and is a wonderful, uh, he, he's, he's done a wonderful example, as from everybody I've talked to about it. But he went ahead and started vocalizing his personal and religious views. And it really does have an effect on the students right now. If you're sitting there as a, a, a J student, and you know your teacher said those words and talked about it being a cesspool and horrible and things like that. You're not going to be comfortable with that teacher. But he, Randy, but he didn't say it in the. He didn't say it in the class. Is that correct, Randy? This is no. Only, he didn't only say it in the class. It. But it's, everybody knows he said it now. Hey, Randy, let me yeah. ask you something. Suppose he went on Facebook and said, "I don't believe in God. Religion is BS. I think religion is for stupid people, and that." I am an agnostic, and I think people who believe in God are fools. Um, should he be placed on administrative leave? Well, if it winds up and having making children, kids that are going to that school that are very religious, and thinking that he's going to judge them because of their religious beliefs, yes. Okay. Uh, let me give it. Let me give you an example. Well, no, 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 no. I, guess I, I, I do have a, a couple more questions, though. Okay. So you put somebody on administrative leave if he makes a statement like this teacher did. You'd put somebody on administrative leave um, if somebody made an anti-religion statement. There are kids in school with so many varied sensibilities. Pretty much if anybody speaks out on any subject of any import, you'd place them on administrative leave because it would make a student feel uncomfortable. A, a local journalist here addressed it. She wrote a, a, an article that, made, that affected me. It said, what if he had been saying the same thing about an obese person? That obese person makes me sick, makes me want to throw up. I think that. So you suspend. So you suspend that every person too. Every obese student, every obese student that he has, is going to feel uncomfortable being before that teacher. So you went to law school, right? Yes. So my recollection of um, constitutional law is that when you talk about freedom of speech, it's easy to say that somebody has a right to free speech when they have a popular view or when nobody is offended. But the whole point of the First Amendment, of freedom of speech, is that unpopular views need to be protected too. Because sometimes unpopular views can become popular views when people get to speak their minds. And that's why, you know, if somebody's in a dictatorship, um, the, they want to suppress everybody else's speech. Our country is the reverse, that you want people challenged, you want people to air their views to vent them, and that's why they say the First Amendment is not only a right, but it's a preferred right under the Constitution. So but why should... it is it is a freedom of speech, yes, but there's also a responsibility of a teacher of violating the ethics. The teacher held to a higher standards. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're saying that the First Amendment has to fall down to the ground if somebody is a teacher that you don't you don't you don't enforce the First Amendment. If I'm somebody's not a teacher? Afford, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you've got to take other things into account along with the First Amendment freedom of speech. Why? As you know, there's always exceptions to yeah, that. Yeah, right. If you say I'm going to burn down a building, that's one thing. But if you express a view, because look, I am for gay marriage, but at the same time, if somebody says they're opposed to gay marriage and they have deep, you know, deep beliefs that even, that even um, verge on anger... Uh, they have a right to say it, and the fact is, is that the way that you educate people and the way people can make a decision is to hear both sides of any argument. And why shouldn't this guy be allowed to freely speak his mind on a political issue which has become a battle cry in this country? Because, again, I get to the point when he chose to be a teacher, 
you've got certain responsibilities. You got certain, you know. It, it, he's come out today. He's got a. He, he just came out. To, uh, I tried to look up the most recent thing, and he's he's not apologized at all. For a matter of fact, he's turning it into. Well, what if more, he believes? What if he believes it?